I've got mining drills research one and large area mining drills. Now, if I remember correctly, large area mining drills will obviously dig up from a larger area, but aren't actually that much better because their mining speed is the same. 5.7, it's slightly faster, but it doesn't make up. It still means you can't pull as much out of an individual patch, but you could probably lay a patch much more quickly and easily. I could start building electric mining drill too, actually. That would allow me to dig up faster. But then the only place where I'm limited at all by speed is here. Or well, actually, I could, yeah, that could, that could do with some mining drill twos over on it, I think. Um, especially as a few of them are starting to run out. And if I ever want to get this to being supplying a bit more stuff, I don't think I don't I don't think this is ever going to be able to supply much more. Well, that said, faster mining drills, faster smelters, maybe it could then. Um, but there's only 1.2 le million left there, so that's going to run out eventually. Yeah, looking at this, I need some better drills over here. Let's let's do that next. So, no, look at here, mine, mining drill two. What about researching mining drill three? Give me that one, which gets me mining drill three, which requires red circuit boards and brass and cobalt. So many new things. Um, let's leave that alone for now. Then let's just build mining drills two, twice, literally twice as fast, and a bit tougher as well in case biters find them. Um, same level of pollution. That's interesting. Iron basic circuits and iron iron gears basic circuits and iron mark ones more basic electronics boards steel gear wheels and steel. Okay, so if I again leave a bit of a gap, gears, put Mark 1s, Mark 2s, steel gears. Steel gear is just steel, good. And that's, that's basically for steel gear steel plate. Let's see, if I bring in iron along the top, that gets those two. And if I replace it with steel, that gets those two. Or have, it, have them both on the same one, even. And then I'll need circuit boards for that and then an output for that into a box and only one thing of those because these are going to be kind of pricey so iron and steel steel if you can hear that infuriating dog I uh, I do apologize unfortunately there's not a lot I can do about it well not much humane anyway and then circuit boards I'm just going to start doing this well, there's, there's not worth it. And of course power. And an inserter to go like that. Excellent. Right, at this sort of stage, I have two real concerns. One is whether my um, belts are going to be able to keep up with the rate I'm using my uh, resources at. And it seems like they can, because I am still getting, well, iron being the most obvious one. I'm still getting iron down here. I've still got copper. Basically, all, all of the belts have stuff on them right at the bottom, so... I think I'm probably alright with that. The other thing to consider is why I haven't got some... Oh, dirt. Okay, I need to go up and fix that. Um, the other thing to consider is whether I'm going to have enough lead coming through. Because lead is rather reliant on the coal mining. That said, the coal seems to be steaming through quite quickly now. Yes, power is using quite a lot of it. And then all my smelting everywhere else, and the bus, and so on. Oh, and the grenades that are being constructed, of course, is using quite a lot. So that means I've got a decent amount coming through here, which means I do have at least some lead coming through. So, yeah, that seems to be okay. The lead is gradually catching up on this belt. It seems to be... there seems to be enough of it here, so that's alright. Okay, let's go and have a look at that. Um, that grey science juice is not being used properly. Comes around here, up here... yeah, okay. <laughs> My bad. Now on the left, we want to have. Wow, it's a lot of them. Um, transport science going that way. Military science going this way. Yeah, that's easy enough. This comes across here. Hooray! Science. Steel is getting used up faster than I'm making it. That's a slight concern. It's a significant concern. I should. I wonder. Now I've got some steel. Consider the other other method of creating steel that I was thinking about before that felt like it might be easier. Was it this one? No. There was a way of making steel, I'm sure of it, that I couldn't do because I didn't have, I needed steel to, in order to do it. Or was it, oh no, it was a way of making oxygen, that was it, from compressed air. Well, why not? Let's do that now, because that's since I can. That's the storage, I'll need that actually. There we go, there's the air filter. Let's build one of those as well and have some nitrogen being blown off into the sky as well, just because, because I can. 
I can't remember if there's something else I wanted. I think there was. Oh yeah, stronger explosives. I wanted to be able to blow up trees in one go. Right, so I have my air filter. Put it here, then I can put more other stuff in. Like these if I want. So, yeah, okay, you can make compressed air, well done. And what's it? Steel, oxygen, compressed air. Yeah, just compressed air. Let's turn that in a chemical. I have a feeling I can't make chemical plants. Oh no, I can. Oh yeah, it was the basic electronic boards, I couldn't. Uh, it was stopping, stopping for air separation. Then this one goes to here. Tang. Then we have another um, flare stack when that gets full. Let's see if we have power for these. There we go. We have a flare stack and we use a. Is that it? Overflow valve. Right, let's try and put this in the right way around this time. Yeah, there's definitely an arrow on it, it's definitely pointing that way. <laughs> These are stopped because there's not enough iron coming through. Iron, why have you forsaken me? Because the copper's full. How, c how can I use up more copper at this point in the game? I mean, all of my copper usage is coming from this... Um, it's coming directly from this mine. But somehow it's just not enough. I guess I'm going to have to stockpile it in a warehouse for now. Build a warehouse. If I put that in here, then I could whack inserters all the way along both sides of it. And it'll that. Um, and just proxy everything through this warehouse. Uh, I've run out of power, power, power. Oh, I can do the medium ones now. Nice. Because <laughs> that will cover the whole thing. Yeah, let's start Let's start using medium pole, electric poles now. They're um, much nicer. They have a much longer range. There we go. Not quite that long though. <laughs> Am I now pulling enough? Th no. Even six inserters is not all belts worth. That's pretty crazy. Okay, let's do this slightly differently then. Right, so this warehouse will gradually fill up with copper. There's a lot of space in the warehouse, so if for quite a long time that's just going to be a bottomless sink. But it'll be unloaded at the same rate if I get the if the demand ever gets up that high. So I can manage a full belt in and a full belt out. And for now it'll just put an artificial load on this facility up here, allowing me to pull all of the copper out of these furnaces, and therefore pull all of the copper through here. You see, all of that one stopped. Oh, up front. Why do I not have enough space for crushed stone anymore? Because this belt is mostly full. Yeah, so these ones aren't running, even though I'm, I'm using it, just not fast enough. Okay, um, I'm going to need to put faster belt. No, I need, need to put another oh, another warehouse in for stone. Cause, oh, it's because that's that's full. Or I could just head over here and use all of that up, I suppose. I've never had resources to waste in quite this way before. This is a bit different and <laughs> a bit weird. Um, <laughs> That's quite a large paved area now, actually. <laughs> it's not going to help a great deal, though, because there is only one grabber pulling from there. It's not really going to be making enough of a difference. I'm going to need to put in another warehouse and do the same thing again here. Except I haven't got enough stone bricks because I've just used them all up. Put it there. Let the stone go underground for. Right, now we're pulling that out as fast as it'll go. There we go, now can go on both sides of the belt. Now, I'm using up the crushed stone as fast as it comes up here. However, I think that's fast enough to use it up as fast as it comes out of here. No, that's still backed up. So that means I need some of these. Oh, I need tin. Oh, tin's miles away. One. <laughs> no, I need slightly more than that. I suspect the next episode is going to be stepping up tin production, and possibly lead production. Lead's going to be harder. Give up two more, that's going to be enough. One there, one there, one there, no, there's a third one. There we go. And it doesn't need to go all the way to the end like that, but I might as well. Now the system can no longer cope with it, because I'm putting in even more, uh, a lot more stone than I was before. But now, it's coming through a bit quicker. Okay, so that means I need even more of these up here. <laughs> uh, that, uh, that needs, to be, needs to go up there as well. It's still not really enough. That's amazing. Need more tin. I want to make a um, a belt belt balancer up there to go on that to get both types to get both sides of the belt being used to the maximum extent from the Jeeva like mine. That does seem to be getting used up. 
almost as quickly as it's coming in. <laughs> right, how's things looking back at the mine? Yeah, the slag heap is going down again, I think. It's certainly not backed up all the way. I just need that to get pulled all the way through so they can start pulling from the other side and can unleash the other mine, basically. Maybe I should come down here and put some faster belts in. I'll just speed up the whole thing, actually. Have I got enough? Have I got enough? Let's find out. No, because I need another splitter. Oh, that's iron I'm out of. You know what else I should do while I'm going to that mine? But it's just going to make the problems even worse again. <laughs> I should pick up all of those uh, Mark II drills I've just made. Quite a lot. Cool. Um, in fact, I'll start using... I'll start trying to use the Mark II drills. Then I can go up here and I can... Yeah, I can start chucking the old Mark I's into that... Into the Mark II drill builder. So they don't feel, I don't feel like they're completely wasted. Yeah, project for another day is definitely going to be to create more tin production. This is a bit feeble at the moment. What's limiting it so much? There's not enough tin coming down here. Is it the the sorters running flat out? The so the crushers are running flat out. The sorters not. Okay, I need more crushers. That's all it is. I need to take bobmonium a bit more seriously now that I'm actually using it a bit. That looks much better. And if I put in one of these. Here, then it'll be even better still. Okay, for my next trick, because these aren't running as fast as they should, let's get out the uh, Mark II drills. Can I just put them over the top? Excellent. Right, that should be basically twice as much. It's looking thicker, that's a solid belt along the bottom there. This is completely cleared out now, that's good. That's looking much better. Good too. Oh, nothing damaged. Nothing damaged. Oh, it's, just, it's not just the walls, it's that that as well. Okay. Oh, I remember something else I was going to use stone for. I was going to start building landfill. That'd be quite useful. Especially, it's a slow process, so I'd better get. best to get it going. Like I did with walls, and then I had plenty. It just takes bucket loads of stone, doesn't it? So if I put that. Like that. I think I'm going to just leave that for a while. Um, I've got my sniper turrets now. How expensive are they to build? They're only slightly more expensive. They're more, but not enormously more than the, uh, than the normal ones. Put iron again. Give me iron. That's taking a serious beating it. I think the biters have leveled up a little bit. I'm going to need some better weapons over here to, uh, to deal with them. I haven't got anything like enough steel production to start using piercing ammunition everywhere. The steel is getting eaten rather quickly. Okay, let's pick up that landfill and build a couple more vanilla turrets. So, the thing is, if I put my landfill down like that, then there's room to put two more turrets in like that, and my sniper turrets there, and I can have ammunition like so, all this stuff, because I know I'm going to need it someday. Well, I kind of want to see the sniper turret in action now. <laughs> I don't want to run over and provoke an attack myself. I should build up some dragon's teeth down here, actually, because that's where the attacking is actually is happening. Where, where are those boxes of rubbish I put down? Down here. Maybe I'll attack the trees as well. There, yeah, that might slow them down a bit. That looks like a lot, but I, that, that, that radar could be out of date. I don't. As a Factorio engineer, I wanted to replace these trees with actual walls. <laughs> there we go. Oh, here comes some. Ow. Oh, I see we're getting spitters now. That's why we're picking up damage. <laughs> ow, ow. It burns. They did all get stopped by the, um, by the dragon's teeth, actually. They didn't really make it in past them. That suggests they are having a noticeable effect. They didn't get... Dragon's Teeth didn't get attacked this time, which is um, probably a good thing, because I don't have to worry about repairing them. I have to admit, doing this by hand is fairly tedious. How does that look? <laughs> Excellent. Although I seem to be seem to have gone got carried away at the top there. Let's um, get rid of that one. Okay, so the um, Sniper Turret is interesting because of its extra range, but it doesn't seem to actually do much more, with any more damage. So I think I probably won't bother with those much more. Um, as I say, 
it does more damage, but a lot less DPS, and that's what really matters. Put some more crushes here, couldn't I? Make one. Okay, let's do that. Do that for now. Well, that'll double my tin output at least, uh, which is going to be a significant improvement. How's this holding up? Oh, loads of space in there. Some proportions of use, twice as much as what, twice as much of what I want. That's nice. Makes a <laughs> nice change. Okay. I noticed I've been playing for a couple of hours now, so I think that's probably a good time to stop. Uh, I'll probably turn this into two episodes, because nobody wants to sit, sit there watching me doing this for two hours. How are my resources doing? So this is... The the lead is it's not full, but it's... The lead is not being produced as fast as it's being used. That's a shame. Tin, not either. <laughs> Although I have doubled the uh, the rate it's being produced at now, so hopefully that'll, that'll be alright from now on. Steel again, not producing enough of that. I don't even know what this one is. Um, oh, circuit boards. Why is my circuit board construction stopped? What's up here somewhere? Here. Because I've broken the wood belts. Okay. Um, let's go. Alright, I'll fix that because that's trivial. And would explain why I've not been using as much copper as I expect to. There we go. Okay, so I've bumped up the. Um, the rate of tin production, so that's going to that will hopefully be about enough. In a future episode, I've got actually now I've got this running as well. I should have yes, I've got lots of oxygen. I can have oh, but it's the iron that's the, the problem here now. <laughs> okay, I can look at this and try and work out how to get some more iron out of that, uh, so I can get more steel being produced. Tin is sort of okay now, maybe. Circuits are fixed. I think yeah, things are vaguely under control. Everything's basically working. I just need to produce. I just need to produce stuff faster. Lead is going to be the really challenging one because I suppose I can put more more drills out around the edges where there's where the red stuff, the rubite, is is much more common. And at the moment, it's mostly sort of the stuff that comes out by mistake when I'm mining the uh, mining the coal. But if I try and push the uh, ratios around a bit, I, can get, I should be able to get quite a lot more lead coming out. That that's not too difficult. Um, it's the other metals that are going to be the interesting parts. Okay, so let's call that episode there. Thank you for watching. I think this is going to be the end of episode 9. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.